Hi, hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's Products and Focus. So what we're going to be really looking at today is the impact of the uh, the Chinese market sell-off on the global equity markets and where we pretty much go from here. So overnight over in China, uh, we basically had a massive amount of volatility again. Both the major indices in China ended up pretty flat to slightly down. Uh, huge government intervention, etc., etc. None of the first times that we've actually seen a, a, a big correlation between a negative sell-off in China and the impact to most other Western markets yesterday. Now, we've had a little bit of a bounce this morning on the US 30, but we're actually trading below um, 17,561, which was a previous potential resistance, with the next potential support being down at 17,361. Negative cross on the MACD. Other technicals are relatively neutral. From a purely technical analysis perspective, we are looking pretty top heavy right here towards the down end of the range. Um, any kind of move below 17,361 down towards 17 makes things a little bit more dicey. Bear in mind we have been in a long-term uptrend for quite some time. The points difference between the tip of this candle here, that's 18.3, 18 and we're down at almost 17.3, so it was almost a thousand points that we've lost over down. Um, and um, unless we begin to get more, uh, a big bit of a turnaround soon, that's gonna cause a lot of investors and traders to think that there's more negativity still to come. Now, if we jump back to yesterday, we actually had decent US data uh, on Friday, sorry. Um, and we had good industrial production that came in at 0 0.8 versus 0 0.5 yesterday, and decent business survey IFO data from Germany, which really helped to spike up the Euro. So there is a lot of dollar positive, uh, US economy positive, but it's still struggling to push on higher. And we are just entering the two-day FOMC session, which finishes up tomorrow, with a 7 p.m. UK time uh, statement uh, from the from the Fed from Janet Yellen, which will also give us a little bit of an idea of what's going on with interest rates as well. So UK 100 uh, trading between two ranges: 65.89 potential resistance, 64.15 as potential support. Negative cross on the MACD as ever, uh, and we are currently off the session lows. Germany 30 as well looks particularly unexciting as it's languishing towards the bottom end of its range. Um, it's a commodity sell-off as well that's hurting a lot of these markets, um, mainly due to you've got copper down at five-year five, five year lows, you've got uh, crude down at multi-year lows. Gold benefiting from safe haven aspects for the first time in a while, usually Japanese Yen has been doing that. If we have a look at Japan 225 now, uh, you'll actually be able to see that we've bounced off potential support this morning at 20,087, but the long legged candles are indicative of the fact that there's not a lot of confidence there. Also coincides with two moving averages, so that's adding potential resistance, pushing that down. Now, moving on to dollar yen, you can see it's had a modest rebound off these moving averages, so the ultimate, the opposite of from Japan 225. 124.42 still potential uh, resistance, uh, but people are buying the Japanese yen as a safe haven against uncertainty the markets. Tomorrow in China will be interesting. So if you have a look at crude, it seems to be kind of um, accelerating to the downside right here. Uh, negative day again yesterday, not really falling through with much uh, vigor this morning. 45.85 is the next potential support level. Especially if we continue to see dollar strength, that will add short-term pain to West Texas crude. So gold's all over the shop, quite volatile again, long like a candles both sides, more long like a candles at the at the bottom side right here, this is four year lows down here, um, an unwillingness to be able to break uh, higher. We could be getting a symmetrical triangle formation developing here, which is usually a continuation pattern, uh, which would probably put more onus on the downside rather than, rather than the up, but it'll be um, led much by uncertainty and volatility in the markets and what US rates are doing. So to finish up with GBP, USD and Euro dollar, so big spike in Euro following yesterday's IFO business consumer sentiment, uh, business sentiment survey data from Germany, real strong uh, move right there. But one spot 11 is potential resistance, also coincides with the 55 period SMA. Uh, and this is the level to beat and we're at the bottom of the ranges now with the Euro. It looks like it's slowly kind of tanking as we speak. So finishing up with GBP USD, um, looks to be um, struggling with the tips of these candles to want to stay above one spot 56. We've got a death cross in the moving averages, the MACD's flattening off and breaking below the zero line. But the other technicals are still quite neutral. Uh, and I think we probably need to think about what economic data is due out today. So we've got GDP at 9.30. That could be kind of interesting for if you're trading cable, especially if it comes out strong. Then you've got CCI from, um, from America at 
p.m. UK time. And remember, it's not until tomorrow that we get the details of that FOMC meeting, but it starts today. Wednesday, you've got uh, CCI from Germany, housing index from the US, petroleum data, which has ever has been coming out uh, higher than expected the last couple of times. That's been really adding pressure on West Texas crude. And then finishes up there with that FOMC statement. That's going to be really important there tomorrow at 7 p.m. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool analysis here from our global analyst team and some of our CMC Markets clients as well. And make sure you make insights part of your layer and join us again tomorrow to find out what happened next.